The heat is on today in the Tooling Around studios. Hi guys, I'm David Sheinkoff, and today I'm hanging out with some lovely ladies and gentlemen who know a thing or two about a thing or two about staying cool. You all know the tool maven from Maryland, Serena P of thriftdiving.com, and joining us today is Kelly Cavan from Ryobi to talk about the tools that will deliver outside the workshop. And of course, we have Tom Burry from Restaurant Impossible here with us to give his two cents. Kelly, thank you so much for bringing all this great stuff. So let's start over here. What do we got here? Sure. So our first tool that we have here is actually one of two hybrid tools that I brought along with me. This is our 18 volt portable fan. And when I say hybrid, what do you think that means? Well, that's what I was hoping you were going to tell me. Absolutely. So here we have a port here for you to plug in our OnePlus battery or extension cord. This fan also has two settings, a low setting and a high setting, depending on how much airflow you want. Also here on the back, you have multiple hanging options. So if you're going camping or simply to one of your children's sports games, you can hang it on the fence and keep cool the whole time. So let's talk about the workspace for a second. So Tom, what does this do for you? You know, whenever you guys are thinking about keeping people cool, I'm thinking about materials. So my first thing is glue, cement, dry times. You put a couple fans on it, it speeds up the dry time like you won't believe, even paints. So you get a couple of these on the job site. And what I love is that they're cordless. Mm -hmm. The worst thing you can do is drag a cord through that glue and ruin it or cement, pff, forget it. So this is a great tool on the job site. And Serena? Yeah. What about well, you? Well, you know, I do painting. And so like Tom mentioned, this is great for drying my paint quickly so I don't have to wait for hours for the next coat. Okay, so moving, moving right along, what about this? So this is one of two inflators that I brought right. with me. This is our power inflator. So as you can see here, it's very compact. You can take it along with you if you're traveling mm -hmm. or if you're on the job site. It has onboard storage here for your accessories. And then it also has a gauge here on the back so you can see how much pressure you're putting into your inflatables. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. So you can really use it at the beach or you can use it at home or whatever you need. Absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, next, we have another inflator of some sort. So this is our inflator deflator. So it's a dual function. So if you see here on the sides, we have a port here to do larger applications like air mattresses or maybe beach balls or something like that. And then on this, oh gosh, there, there they go. Well, there's a beach ball. <laughs> And then on this other side here, mm -hmm. you could actually inflate tires. And so you can keep it in the car with you. So if you ever have a flat tire, you can use this to pump it up. And then on the front, you also have a digital gauge so you can see how much pressure you're putting in to your inflator. Oh, see, that's, that's fantastic. And for people like me who would actually go to the beach and use an inner tube to float in, this is right. perfect. And you know what, speaking of things to float in, we have a little surprise for you. For me? For you. So we know that your son loves swimming. Oh. <laughs> so. We wanted to give you some Ryobi. There's nothing floaties. like water wings for my son. <laughs> I've got a two year old, so he's gonna love these. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, you're very now, welcome. Now moving right along, let's talk about this. This is our EverCharge. This comes in a kit. So this is our EverCharge hand vacuum kit. And the best part about this tool, besides cleaning up messes, whether it's in your car, in your home, is that this wall mount right here. So this is a smart charger. So you can hang the tool on this and it'll charge the battery while it's plugged in. Oh, so that's amazing. So it, it's always ready to go. Always ready when you are, but maybe you don't have the space to put this wall adapter. You can still take the battery off the tool and use one of your Ryobi chargers as well to charge it. That's fantastic. So moving along here, what do we got here? So this is our compact Bluetooth stereo, meaning you can pair your smartphone with this radio and rock out all day. So does this have presets? Can I use my, I can use my smartphone so I can use any of my, my apps that I want to use on Absolutely. it as well? Absolutely, and we have AM and FM stations, so you can actually preset up to 10 FM and 10 AM presets. Or if you just want to plug in your phone, we have an auxiliary input on the side. So Serena, are you rocking out when you're working? Of course. I mean, uh, do you do you listen to music? Because I do, I it, do. It's, to me, music is soothing when I'm working. So yeah. is it you feel the same way? I do. I use it in my workshop and then when I go to the kitchen to prepare lunches for the kids, I move it to the kitchen. And, and you just carry it with I you? I carry it everywhere. I love that. Okay. It's awesome. So let's go on to this. Excuse me, Serena. Tell me a little yes. bit about this. So this is our 20 watt uh, work light. And again, it's hybrid, just like the fan, um, but it also delivers over 1800 lumens. So we're talking full spotlight here. Yes. So it, but it is LED. It is LED. Wow, that is amazing. And same with the fan. It has multiple hanging options. So depending on where you are, if you're camping or maybe you're working in your workshop, it's good to go. So Tom, let's talk about this for a second. So how do you use this in job site? Well, first of all, that thing 
talking about 1800 lumens, it is crazy bright. Mm -hmm. I've taken it into super dark attics, it lights up the whole thing. And then, of course, it's safety and keeps the guys working because when you're sitting there trying to constantly move around lights and you can't see what you're doing, you can get hurt or you can't get the job done, so. And that way they also can't hide from you when you're there. Exactly, I can walk around the job site and find them. Yeah, exactly, where are you guys? Where, where is everybody? Oh, you're here! And Serena, it's the same for you on your job sites? Yeah, well, you know, I work in my garage a lot mm -hmm. and I'm painting furniture and sometimes the light is not very good in there. So this is perfect for making sure that I'm getting all the spots that need to be covered. So. Well, that sounds, that sounds yeah. really great. These are all fantastic, but I'm not done with you. I've also got a surprise for you. Oh no. We're gonna play a little game called Growing Up in Alabama. Yeah. What is a yellow hammer and can you build a house with it? Well, I believe that's the state bird of Alabama, and I don't think I would try to build anything with it. That is correct! <laughs> what was the bear's real name? Well, I'm assuming you're talking about Paul Bear Bryant, but being an Auburn fan, they don't teach us that at all. That is correct! Auburn knows <laughs> nothing about the bear! What do they call the annual football game between Alabama and Auburn? Well, I have to say that is one of the biggest rivalries, and they actually call that the Iron Bowl. That is correct! The first Mardi Gras, Louisiana or Alabama? Well, to be exact, it was Mobile, Alabama. That is correct. Thank you so much, Tom, Kelly, and Serena for being here. We'll see you next time on Toolin' Around, a constructive conversation.